particular order. Uh, put, put their hands together for Carly and Donnie. Um, I thought Carly was this ditzy white girl, and I thought Donnie was just an angry straight girl from Idaho who really liked to dress comfortably. Right. <laughs> taco truck and this guy and I were having a total no comprende situation and he's looking at me like I'm totally loco mm -hmm. and I'm sitting on the bench enjoying my tofu wrap minding my own business and I hear this crazy commotion and I look over and I see Donnie yelling at this sweet little Mexican man and she's yelling yo quiero chorro which in Spanish means I want diarrhea okay, I wanted a churro okay a churro and chorro it's like the same fucking word I don't know I'm feeling confident so Carly comes over she speaks Spanish to the guy and come to find out she's a super Super rad half Mexican chick and not to twat from the valley like I thought she was. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I found out Donnie was a lesbian, which explained her lack of style and anger okay. issues. Your next uh, uh, comedian in advance, Jamie Loftus. Uh, I've got a lot of new stuff going on because I'm 22. I'm running out of firsts to go through. You know what I mean? Like, like I got, I've never had an abortion, uh, <laughs> but I know that I will. You know. <laughs> I give myself like a year, right? Because I'm, uh, I'm careless and I'm not very maternal. So. But that's not a first that you normally celebrate, right? Like well, when I graduated high school, I got a banner that says, you did it, right? But uh, if I had an abortion party, my banner would say like, you almost did it. <laughs> But then you thought better of it, because you have an arts degree and lactation freaks you out. <laughs> and your final comedian moving on, Rob Green, everyone. I am 33. I live with a roommate who I met on Craigslist. How's your life going? <laughs> It's weird living with a stranger. If you've never done that, it is weird. I tried to cut down on that by sending him an email before he moved in so I could tell him about me. He emails me back, tells me about him. One thing that he mentions is that he is a sleepwalker. All right, this is going to be fun, buddy. You're moving in. A couple weeks later, I realized he did not mention he is a daily blackout drinker. That's not the same thing as sleepwalking. 